Hello students, today we will be going over Chapter 5 Prerequisite Skills. Uh, now Chapter 5 is going to be on exponents, so we need, need to review quite a few things about exponents. This is, again is on page 99 in your yellow packet. So our vocabulary shows the power is the whole thing. Okay, Sometimes the exponent is also known as the power, but in general the power is like the whole thing. The bottom is the base and the little number is the exponent. It tells the base how many times to multiply itself. So for here, our base is 2 and our exponent is 5. Here our base is x, our exponent is 8. Here our base is 9 and our exponent is x. Okay. I'll let you finish the next three. I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next um, exponent rule. Okay. So for this, On our ne negative exponents rule, we change it to a positive. How, you may ask? You move the power, see, this is the power negative 5 or the exponent to the other side of the fraction bar, and the exponent becomes positive right here and down here. So um, I sometimes say that negative exponents are like naughty children. What do we do with naughty children? We shove them in the basement where they become positive, right? Okay, so 3 to the negative 5 equals 1 over 3 to the positive 5. Now we have some examples here. So you have your first one you can write right there. The next one at c to the negative 3 equals 1 over c to the third. See how it's negative here? Once we move it, and technically that's got an over 1, right? So if we move this downstairs to the basement, we put a 1 on top. You need something up there to show, hey, this is a fraction. <clears throat> next, I'm going to jump over to this one next because there's the negative. And guess what? If they're being naughty downstairs, they got to come upstairs for a lecture. So that actually becomes 4 to the x power. Okay. This one is a little bit of a trickster one. 14a to the negative 4 over 7b to the negative 3. So you can kind of think of it as two different problems. One, what's 14 divided by 7? That's 2, and it's going to be upstairs. Now here's negative, so we bring b upstairs to have a lecture because they're being naughty downstairs. Now this upstairs is negative, so we put them downstairs in the basement. So there's your answer there. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go on to our zero exponent rule. I've talked about this a few times in class where we say <clears throat> um, anything to the zero exponent is what? <coughs> anything to the zero power is one. That's correct. So here it's pretty easy, 1, 1. Oh, what about that? Well, what is 0x? That's just 0, so it's still 2 to the, two to the 0 power. That's 1. What about this one? So this 0 power only acts on the x. It does not act on the 7. If it was in parentheses like this, 7x to the 0 power, then yes, I would put 1. But in this case, it's not. So we say x to the 0 power is 1, and we go 1 times 7, your answer there will be 7. Okay, so that one was a little bit of a trickster. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next page, page 100, to our product rule here. So our product rule says when multiplying two powers that have the same bases, we add the exponents. Okay, so 7 times 7 to the third, if nothing is there, it's going to be a 1. 
So we add 1 plus 3, 7 to the fourth power. This one, h to the second times h to the sixth, is h to the eighth power. And then this one, oh, look, all the bases are the same. So we can add 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Now we can also get number answers. Once we get our 7 to the fourth power, we can take our handy dandy calculator here and we go 7 right here. And then we say y to the x, this button here, 4 equals 2401. Okay? So that's what we put also um, right here, 2401. We can also do 4 to the 5th power, 4, y to the x, 5, equals 1024. Okay. Next, we, we want go ahead and we do this. We, um, when you have numbers in front, this is another example, 2 times 7. We just treat that normally as 14. Then we say a squared times a to the third. We're going to add the exponents, a to the fifth. Then we say b times b. Remember, there's imaginary ones there. 1 plus 1, b squared. And there you have that answer. Okay. Now, um, I'll let you do that one. Actually, that one's a little bit of a trickster. <clears throat> 3 times 2 is 6. And then this one, y times y, we add the exponents. 2 minus 2 is y to the 0 power. But anything to the 0 power was what? That's correct. 1. 1 times 6. Your final answer should be 6. Okay. Then our last one over here is a little bit of a trickster also. We're going to add the exponents because the bases are the same. So we're adding x and 2x. We keep the base the same. That's 3x. And then plus 3 minus 7 minus 4. And there you have your answer. Okay. All right. There's the product rule again and the zero rule. Then we go on to the quotient rule, which means when we're dividing two powers, we're going to be subtracting the exponents, okay? So 3 to the 10th over 3 to the 9th, 10 minus 9, 3 to the first power. And if it's to the first power, you don't necessarily need to write it the 1 down. Here, x to the 5th divided by x, remember? When nothing is there, it's a 1. 5 minus 1. And m squared over m to the ninth. You can think of that as m times m over, and then there's 9 m's on the bottom. And m over m is 1. So I can cancel one of those m's with one at the bottom. So we're left with one on top, and then there's seven of these m's left on the bottom. So that's one over m to the seventh. So here's the math the long way. The short way would have just been going nine minus two is seven left on the bottom or on the denominator. Then we move on to this. I'm going to go ahead and like separate that out. 5 over 15. Some of you might try that and get 3 and you would be mistaken <clears throat> because it's 1 third. Then A's. Where are the most A's? <clears throat> There's 4 A's on the bottom and 2 A's on the top. So if I go for every A on the top over 4 A's on the bottom, I'm left with the bottom having two a's left, so it's a squared. 
Then B's, there's more B's on top. A minus 4, 8 minus 4 is going to be 4. There you have it. Okay. Next, we're going on to the next one. This one's a little bit of a trickster over here. Y to the 5 over Y to the 5. What's 5 minus 5? And we still need to simplify that further. Oh, and this is the real trickster right here. We're going to take this, subtract this to get all of our 5. So we have 3x minus 9, subtract, and I need parentheses because there's more than one term in here. So 3x minus 9, I'm going to make that plus a negative x plus 10. And then I don't need to put the parentheses anymore because I distributed a negative 1 through the parentheses. Now I combine like terms. 3x minus x is 2x minus 9 plus 10 is a plus 1. So my final answer is 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. Okay, the last one we're going to talk about is your power rule. That's when you raise a power to another power, you multiply the exponents. Okay. So I have 3 to the third raised to the power of 5. 3 times 5, 15. Next one, I'll let you do that one on your own. Then I'm going to go over and I will do this one with numbers with it, okay? Now, 3, this power right here when nothing is there, it's 2 to the first power. Now, 1 times 2 is, or 1 times 3 is 3, so that's 2 to the third power. x, 2 times 3 is 6, over 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, and then we simplify our 2 to the 3rd, and we get 8x to the 6th over y to the 12th. Okay. Next, I'm going to go on to this one here. Again, 2 to the 1st power is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. And 3 times 2 is 6. And 2 squared here, I can just change that to a 4. And it's simplified and you're done at that point. Okay? And that's a Z. All right. 3. Oh, this time we... 4. This is the power on the 4. So we're taking this whole thing right here and multiplying it by 3. So we say 3 times 2. Again, it's to the base of 4. 3 times 2 is 6x minus 3 times 1 is 3. And there's your answer there. Now, because this is the whole thing raised to the power of 0, what do you think that's going to be? So easy. Looks hard, but it's easy. You can do the rest of this, students. You rock.